Hey guys, good morning to you or good afternoon, whatever time you're watching. Some of you have been requesting that we do a little inshore fishing. Clay and I love to get out here and spend some time on the calm water. So today is gonna be a fun day. That's right. We're putting the bay boat in its natural element. I know you guys see us offshore fish out of this boat all the time, but realistically, this boat drafts in about 12 inches of water, which makes it a fantastic backcountry boat. And plus, it's overcast. Um, the winds are kind of heavy offshore, so we decided to do something a little different and poke out here in the backcountry and show you guys the other side, so to speak, of the Florida Keys. But Ladies, we've officially launched our women's line and we're continuing to restock the men's line. That's right. And throughout July, we'll continue to restock certain items. But guys, we're so sorry. It's just been really difficult to get clothing because we've just been on a really bad COVID back order. We appreciate everybody's concern. We appreciate everybody asking. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into fishing. Let's do it. So we just got to our first fishing spot here, guys. So far, we've seen a lot of snook, no eats, but we did see a school of mullet. So we're gonna try to cast net some live bait here real quick. I don't really know if we're gonna be using these mullet today just because they're big baits. Ideally, what we want is pilchards, but if you guys have been keeping up with us, it's been really hard to find bait here in the Keys. So we're using all artificial, and if we can catch some mullet, that's just a huge plus, so. See if we can find them again around here somewhere. Hope I can reach them. Go. Oh! <laughs> Did you get them? Yeah. Look at how pretty. Did you see how perfect that throw was? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was probably one of the best cast net throws I've done in a really long time. <laughs> He's hooked up right now. What's this, it feeling like? It feels like the biggest thing I've ever caught in the back country. <laughs> so they had a live mullet on the back there. Shaking its head. Something just came up and crushed it. It hasn't jumped, so we I kind wonder. of ruled out tarpon or snook. Maybe a shark or a yeah. grouper? What? What is that? What a kind of shark? shark? Oh. Yeah, it's yeah. a lemon shark. Wow! That thing's big too. That is pretty big. Check that out. This is where the D hooker comes handy, guys. Oh. There is no way I want to stick my hand next to that thing's mouth. Look at that. Mr. Shark Week. See, he looks like he's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. All sharks almost look like they smile. Woo! One of your fingers. Woo! <laughs> he knocked. Good job. All right, Clay, what you got there? Uh, we got a tarpon on and we just came off spotlight. Got to turn it back on. <laughs> got a little baby tarpon on. Let's see if we can get him up. Woo! Good job. See if he doesn't get this hook. He's definitely going to jump. There he goes. Oh! So we've actually been in here tarpon fishing for a while. The problem is, I think the mullet that we caught this morning were way too big for these little juvenile tarpons. So I just put on a little artificial bait here real quick. Next thing we know, we hook up, baby. That's sweet. Legally, tarpon over 40 inches must remain in the water. But as you can see, this is a little guy. So we decided to remove him to take a couple shots but notice how we continue to hold him over the water. We do this due to the fact that if this fish were to freak out and we were to drop him, he would land in the water versus landing in the boat, which could potentially harm the fish. These are techniques that we always try to utilize in the backcountry since we're catch and release fishing. But most importantly, we suggest using a dehooking device, which can be found on our website in the video description below, 
dehookers allow you to dehook a fish without ever having to remove them from the water, which ensures the safest release possible for the fish to swim away unharmed. Another thing to add, the hooks in these lures are razor sharp. So if this fish were to freak out trying to remove the hook, there's a huge possibility that you could end up with a hook in your hand. He's going. Yeah, yeah, get that rod tip low. Rod tip low, rod tip low. Dang it, he's wrapped around a mangrove shoot, I think. Nope. You got him? I'm going to. Able to get him out? Uh, oh, did you get him? Yeah. You got him. Nice one, Woo. Stephanie. Stephanie got a good Get up, baby. <laughs> that one is there. That one's nice, Stephanie. <laughs> good job. Sweet. Why don't you bring him up and show everybody how pretty he is. It's so awesome, the sunlight shining on him like that. Oh yeah, you get to see the real beauty of him. Gotta love it. So unfortunately, we have a charging issue with the trolling motor batteries. So it looks like we're done fishing for today, but we're doing the next best thing. We're doing some exploring here in the Florida Keys, which is probably one of our favorite things to do beside fishing. But what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna show you guys around this landscape because it is just absolutely beautiful. If you guys are ever having a slow day or a windy day, you want to tuck away and basically do something beside fishing, come back here into the islands of the Florida Keys. I mean, it is just such a beautiful place. Me. You know what the best part is? What's that? I don't have to cook tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. And we got Riley right That's here. Right. You can't forget about Riley. Anyways, getting back to what we did today, it was so cool being back there today because that's where, where all of this began. Mm -hmm. You know, we were back there one day and, you know, food was I, scarce because yeah. of COVID. That's how it really started. It yeah. was the beginning of COVID. Mm -hmm. And we're like, let's go fishing. Let's go catch some food because we can't find it at the grocery stores. No, so then I picked up his iPhone mm -hmm. and I'm like, hey, let's just document it, you know? And what's so cool is that you guys have responded so well yeah, to you, every video we've done. Yes, and you guys have continued to like follow us through. We've got new subscribers and it's just, awesome to go back to where it all began and mm -hmm. just really reminisce and like think about where we were a year ago a year and a half ago and where we are today yeah and it's awesome and we hope you guys enjoyed today mm -hmm. 
and we are gonna go and take a nice nap because we are exhausted. Nap. <laughs> I'm not waking up if I go to sleep. But that's our way of saying that we're out of here. Yeah. We're getting to bed, guys. We appreciate you guys watching so much. And we'll see you guys next time. That's right. Thanks, guys. Bye.